another iOS programming tutorial. In this video, we will be continuing the previous tutorial on how to add custom annotations, how to change their images, and how to change the title and the subtitle of the callouts. Now that we are done with our view to load, we can move on to our next function that we're going to be inserting right in between these two. And this is going to be our func map view. And this is basically going to be the main function where we're making a view and we're setting it as the background of the annotation. Underscore map view. Uh, dot DQ. Oh, whoops, no. Map view. MK map view. So we're setting the map and map view is an MK map view. View for annotation mk annotation the view for the annotation basically which is what we're going to be focusing on in this as far as i know and then we are going to do this boniero looking thing which can actually be read as can consist of and is used to mark grammar productions Or type in NK and the nation view. Nation view. So let's go ahead and open our function statement. First, what we're going to write is we're going to write in if parentheses annotation view annotation is MK point annotation if annotation is mk point annotation what we're going to do right before this is we're going to type in an x we're going to type an explanation mark what this is going to do is it actually reverses it it's not really saying if annotation is mk point annotation it's saying if the annotation is not mk point annotation we're going to return nil so we're going to do nothing and we will print, for example, something like, uh, something simple. Just so we know that it registered as, so we know that it didn't register as an MK point annotation. Type in print, not registered as MK point annotation. So now we know that if for some reason something doesn't work, and this prints, then we know that we do have a problem there. We have an error right here saying missing a return in a function expected to return MK annotation, annotation view. We are going to have a return function at the very end of this, so do not worry about that error. Whoopsies. This one says code after return will never be executed because we don't have a return. But when we do add in the return, it will be at the very end. So just ignore these two errors and warnings. We will fix those later. And we will move on with the beef of this function. Next, we're going to type in variable annotation view is a map view dot dq reusable annotation view with identifier. And our identifier is going to be Pokemon Identifier, or something like that. So what we're doing here is we're creating a new variable called our annotation view. It is a, and it is going to be a map view, a reusable annotation view. So basically this is going to be like the table view cell. We give it an identifier. So annotations with this identifier will be following this variable. And I guess we have another problem. Yes, because we never used it. Uh, ignore all of these errors right here, because we will be fixing them after some time. Next, we're going to go if annotation view is nil. So if it's nil, what do we do? We'll say annotation view. 
equals an MK annotation view. Annotation. Annotation. And the reuse identifier. is going to be our uh, reuse identifier that we specified right up here. So now we're going to go down to the next one, annotation view. So we're going to say annotation view, then our explanation point dot can show callout equals true. Let's just look at this if statement really quick and try to understand what it is saying before we continue. If annotation view is nil, so if it doesn't exist, we will make annotation view a new MK annotation view. The annotation is going to be our annotation created up here, our view for annotation. And our user identifier is going to be our reuse identifier we created for annotation views that we create. And then at the next one we say annotation view can show callout is true. So that means that when you click on this annotation view the callout is going to pop up. Let's move on to our next line. Else. So if it's not nil, if it's just fine, annotation view dot annotation equals annotation. So this is already going to be assuming that it has an annotation and we're going to set it as our MK annotation annotation. <laughs> I feel like I'm using the word annotation way too much, but that is what it's called, so I really have no choice, do I? Next, we are going to be changing the image of the annotation view. So we're going to type in annotation annotation view, and then our optional signifier dot image equals UI image named and then the name of our image, which in this case happens to be exactly the name of our little Pokemon right here, Pikachu.png. And finally, since we are done with all the functions and we have set the background of the annotation as an image, we can now do our return statement. Return annotation view will be returning our variable that we created. This should already be enough to show the map, to show the annotation as a Pikachu in the correct place, and it should work. So that means if we click on it, it should display our title. So we're going to go ahead and run it and see if it works or not. Oh, whoops, I forgot something. I'm noticing this little error right here, you might have it too. It said code after this return statement is not going to be executed. And that makes sense, because after you turn it, you're done. You return what you meant to return. Anything after that is not meant to be returned. So we're going to select this statement, or we're going to select our print statement. We're just going to copy it and delete it. Now we'll go before the return statement, and we're going to paste it in there. So it's going to print not registered as an MK point annotation, and it's going to return nil. Our app has finished building, and as you can see, we have our Pikachu pin right here. When we click on it, the callout comes up with the name with the word Pikachu. So we know that this works. I'm gonna stop the video right here. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Part three will be coming out soon, probably today. So I'll see you there. Mm -hmm.